Welcome back to Kaidu Rider, uh, where I have probably just posted a video that I finished filming 30 seconds ago about this Revit Horizon 3 jacket and a review of it. But now, since I referenced in that video these riding jeans, I'm just going to get into those real quick. I got the Roadskin Tyrannus motorcycle jeans because of an impulse buy from Rocketman. Check out his channel just because he's a nice guy. As always, nothing on this channel is sponsored because very few people subscribe or watch. But hey, I'm having fun, so let's have fun together. Now there are plenty of reviews of these jeans. Most of them are reviews straight out the box. I have been riding with these for five hours already today. Done city rides, hot weather rides, and I've had other motorcycle jeans and motorcycle pants, so I will tell you about those now to compare. The Climb K42, they're double A rated with ghost armor. The difference between those specifically is uh, they are a more American style jean, and by that I mean they're looser. The first big difference is the armor that comes with them. The ghost armor is like nothing's there at all, but it's only CE level 1, which is not good enough for me. So I switched them out to something level 2. And this comes with unbelievably comfortable memory foam level 2 armor, uh, the Tyrannus jeans that I'm wearing. And that's really impressive because A, it's level 2, and B, these are as comfortable as just jeans. In fact, they're a little more comfortable just because of how they fit. Comparing again to the Climb, the armor on these stays on my knees. The Climb ones literally never stayed on my knees. Like, to the point where I actually cut and sewed some stuff inside the Climb jeans to make the armor stay on the knees. Because what is knee armor if it's inside the leg every time you're riding? Walking around, the Ghost armor was much more comfortable. But it, these aren't uncomfortable walking around. The comfort on the bike is unparalleled. As far as what weather is good, what weather is bad, being a looser cut jean, the AA rated climbs were a little better in the heat. But now that it's broken in, I don't know if that's so... Okay, so the microphone fell out while I was talking about heat, and I noticed three minutes later. So I'm going to try to remember where I was and remember what I said, but let's keep going. So, climb being a looser fit was much comfortable in the heat. But these have a mesh liner the whole way around, whereas climb only has it on the thighs and for the armor. It's literally in there for the sake of the armor. Uh, this is more comfortable in the sense of the mesh. And what I found is that as these are breaking in, they are quite comfortable and they're not even done breaking in yet. I don't remember if this was recorded, but with the climb, the knee armor is never where I want it. Literally never. I'm adjusting it on the ride. These come with level two that are on the bike, super comfortable. Uh, the most comfortable I've ever had, and I have had multiple knee injuries, so that's a very serious, very big deal for me to have such comfortable knee armor. Now, off the bike, it's not quite the same comfort, but before I get into that, I want to continue on the heat because I'm going to sidetrack and forget. Um, these, I have ridden in 37 degrees Celsius, so it was city heat, it was stop and go, it wasn't breezy, and even then, you know, I sweat. But even through my mesh jacket, I was sweating. It wasn't like I was going to be okay, like super okay, just because I would have had lo looser pants or whatever. Uh, it's hot. 37 and humid is hot. But now riding with these, these are not cold at 18 degrees. I forgot my hazard lights. These are not cold at 18 degrees, but I can feel that there is some airflow. As far as fashion sense, my wife, who has a much better sense of fashion and many other things than I do, uh, she finds these more attractive. The climb looks like a boxy American, almost farmer's cut, which is not a bad thing. That's more my style, but this is more fashionable. This is, in her opinion, probably my best looking jeans I own altogether. And I like the stitching. I like the triple gold stitching all over the pants. And I like the color. I like the dark indigo. There is black if you want it. I'm not a black jeans kind of guy. Agree to disagree. Uh, and as far as a woman's opinion of these, uh, women, there is a women's size. And these are not skinny jeans. These are fitted. Uh, if you're a thick boy, that may be an issue. Uh, that really depends on your confidence. The women's size, as far as I can tell, is a skinny fit jean. But my wife says that these will fit her fine in a loose fit kind of comfort way and Japanese people often like that. Women, you don't have to sacrifice anything just because you're a female rider. 
This company, Roadskins, has you covered with the option of AAA jeans that look like jeans just as much as the men's, just as good as the men's in every way, shape, and form. That's a real positive thing because since I have a wife who rides, I don't want her to be stuck with everything in pink and low quality because it's not cost effective. So far the coldest I've had these is highway speeds at 15 celsius with nothing underneath and they've been very comfortable. The warmest again that city heat. I'm actually selling the climb jeans because I'm just not going to use them anymore. I think even in the heat next year with these becoming broken in I'll stick with these. These have broken in nicely. I've only used them for let me see where my bike is at. Okay so it's at that much so it'd be 600 kilometers in total that's somewhere around 400 miles and they've broken in significantly they were not uncomfortable out of the box but you believe that AAA rating if you get what i mean they were stiff enough whereas now they're genuinely comfortable and i bet they'll break in a bit longer just because my experience with riding gear if it's the type that breaks in it breaks in for at least 2,000 kilometers so they will only get better there's been no issues with quality, no issues with the manufacturing. Yeah, it was definitely a good investment, even if it was somewhat of an impulse buy. Okay, battery died and now it's charged, so let's try to finish this. So what I was saying is, as far as comfort goes, as far as being jeans, comparing again to the climb, the climb feels like jeans that were made safe for a motorcycle. These feel like motorcycle pants that were turned into jeans, if that makes sense. Off the bike, you feel the length of them to fit in a motorcycle position, so they're much longer than normal jeans. Sometimes they sit in a bit of a way, but the more I use them, the more I get used to them, the more I start to wonder if it's just I don't wear this style of jeans normally. Again, try them, but don't buy these for your town trousers more than bike jeans. But I am very happy to live with them. I can't think of much else to say besides pointing out that I have not crash tested them. If I crash test them or they start ripping apart, there will be a video popping up, I think right here in the corner that you can click on a card or it'll be linked in the description. If there's no video, then I haven't crashed them and nothing's gone wrong. I will be using these like I did my previous pants with a rain shell to put over them in the winter and I'll wear my merino wool leggings under them. But long term, do I recommend these? Absolutely. Uh, I want to say something about the company real quick. I got in contact with them. They responded super fast. They were super helpful. It shipped all the way to Tokyo from England in like three days. And the shipping cost me in yen, I think 3,000 or 4,000, which is not much. So shipping, tax, cost of the pants, 30,000 yen, which is something like just over 200 US dollars in my hands. The customer service, I have one thing I had to ask them about. There's a little bag that comes with it and I didn't get the bag. And the instructions say store in the bag. So I asked them what to do and they said, ah, just keep it in the closet, keep it out of direct sunlight except when you're using it and wash inside out. They did help me quite a bit with the sizing and how they fit compared to standard jeans, compared to whatever's. I wear 34 jeans regularly because I like a slight loose fit. So I got 34 in my clients and they fit like jeans. I got 34 in these. They were a bit snug out of the box. Now. I'm 100% comfortable walking around. But if you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. If you have any criticisms, if I forgot anything, short of getting a custom high-end suit from, I think their name is BSK in the UK, nothing really gets safer than this in a measurable way that I'm aware of. You spend your money how you want. This is not an advertisement that's paid. Though I guess technically it is an advertisement. What else is YouTube? You're the product. But till next time, thanks for watching. Here comes the tunnel, and I'm Kai to you, Ryder.